Hello, my name is Minghu. I am a PhD student of instructional psychology and technology uh, at Brigham Young University. And I am Karen Arneson. I am also a PhD student in instructional psychology and technology at Brigham Young University. And I'm Michael Barber, an associate professor of instructional design for the College of Education and Health Sciences at Toro University, California in beautiful Vallejo. Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Leary. I am an assistant professor of instructional psychology and technology at Brigham Young University. Our research is entitled A Newcomer's Lens, a look at K-12 online and blended learning in the Journal of Online Learning Research. Uh, the, in this presentation, we will briefly introduce the four sections of our paper, which are introduction, uh, methodology, results, and conclusion. A literature indicated uh, that only a small percentage of articles in the more general distance online learning journals are focused on the K-12 environments in 2015, the Journal of Online Learning Research, JOLR, was established to publish articles related to the theoretical, uh, empirical, and pra pragmatic understanding of technologies and their impact on pedagogy and the policy in primary and secondary K-12 online and blended environments. Uh, given the uh, growing importance of JOLR as a publication outlet for scholars of and research into K-12 online at blended learning, it's important to begin to understand the topics, uh, types of articles, authors, and the top cited articles of this journal in an effort to provide insight into the larger context of the field. So the purpose of this study was to conduct an analysis of JOLR with respect to article topics, geography, research methods, and article types, authors, and the citations. Uh, to complete our analysis, we reviewed all 51 articles published in JOLR between 2015 and 2018, excluding, uh, excluding uh, editories and book reviews. Uh, this uh, study uh, analyzed those articles for trends in topics, article types, authorship, geography, and citations. Specifically, to analyze the article topics, we entered the 51 abstracts into text lister and outline text analysis tool uh, to extra extract the top relevant two and three phrases to determine the journal's cen central topics. Then we examine each of the articles to determine either the geography location of the study being reported or the geography focus of the article itself. And we will examine each of the articles to determine the geographic location of the author based on their institu uh, institutional, lo institutional location. Mm. Where for the article types and methodologies analysis, we just, uh, uh, we just coded each article according to six possible categories to identify the, the methodological trends. Descriptive, uh, inferential, interpretative, theoretical, content analysis, and the combined methods. We assigned each article to a single category, and those articles with elements of more than one category were assigned according to the primary characteristics. As for our authorship analysis, we conducted the analysis of authorship by extracting the frequency of each author's contribution, and we 
uh, we then employ the point scale, giving first authors three points, second authors two points, and third authors and beyond one point. The last one, citation analysis. We analyzed Google Scholar using the publish or perish software to examine the number of citations for each articles uh, for each article as of December 31st, 2018. And we analyzed all 51 articles published between 2015 and 2018 to identify the 12 top cited articles each of which was cited seven or more times. As mentioned, we began with the topics that were perused in JOLR by analyzing the three and two word phrases that appeared most frequently in the abstracts. In the three word phrases, the uh, top phrase was face to face with online and blended coming in at five. Uh, it shows the just the basics of, on, of blended learning is face-to-face -face and online integration. So that would make sense that those are like that. And the two word phrases, the top was blended learning and then 13 had online teachers and 12 had online courses. However, we found it was interesting that the, also coming in with a high number was professional development at 12, which seems to indicate that <laughs> there's an emphasis on professional development for blended and online teachers in uh, becoming proficient teachers in those areas. We also looked at the locations of the studies and the location of the authors in these 51 articles. As you can see in both um, settings, they are, the United States is predominant. Um, in the location where the study took place, 82% were conducted within the United States with Turkey, Brazil, and India coming in later on with one each. We had five articles that were unable to determine the location, mostly because they were articles that were theoretical in context and could not be able to determine where they were written because it didn't really matter. Um, in the geographic location of authors, most of the authors, 115 of them were cited, were situated within the United States with United Kingdom, Turkey, Brazil, Canada, and India coming in much farther behind. So um, most of the articles in JOLR are situated in the United States and are written by authors who are also in the United States. This pie chart sh shows, the, shows the types of articles that were published. 31% were interpretive studies and 29 were inferential studies. Those two together make up 60%. When you add the mixed methods, which were a combination of those two, it brings you to 82%. So 82% of JOLR had articles that were either interpretive or inferential. 12% were theoretical, 4% or two articles included content analysis, and finally one article was descriptive. We um, analyzed the authorship of the articles to see which ones are the most prevalent. The blue shows the number of articles that each author published and the orange shows the number of points they got, as we said, with three points for the first author, two for the second and one for the third author or beyond. Jared Borup had the most articles as well as the highest number of points. Uh, it should be noted that he was a journal, an editor of the journal, but all of these articles were published during a time that he was not editor. At the end here, we have authors who published only one article. 43 authors published one article, article and were the first author, 33 authors had one article but were the second author, and 39 were, had one article but were the third author or beyond. The majority of all the articles were written by authors who had only one article published in JOLR. This is the citation and article types. The top article had 22 citations and we charted them down through this, the ones that had seven citations. What we found interesting is that all of the types of articles were located within these top cited articles except for the descriptive category. Well, uh, according to our analysis, the additional attention JOLR has given to blended context and 
JOLR also raises awareness of the importance of teachers' professional development in online and blended uh, environments. As the only journal that primarily published articles specializing in K-12 online and or blended learning, JOLR provides a unique platform for researchers, especially new researchers to this field to present their studies on K-12 online and or blended learning in a journal focus on the subjects rather than present them scattered among a variety of journals. However, given that the field is still a relatively new research area, future research can continue to examine the trend analysis um, over a more extended period to reflect the development of and change in the field of K-12 online and blended in, uh, education. Further, researchers outside of the United, United stu, uh, States should be encouraged to conduct research that focuses on other countries in addition to the United States. Thus, facilit uh, facilitating comparisons uh, between the implementation and use of online and blended approaches in different countries and cultures as well as encouraging uh, diversification of the fields. Thanks.